We're showing gratitude to good deed doers all season long, like this very deserving Drew Gooder. Take a look. My name is Kennard Johnson. I'm a high school girls basketball and softball coach in Chicago, Illinois. When I was a teenager, I was shot. That's how I lost my arm. I was down, I didn't want to do anything. And one of my friends asked me to come be coach at his school. When I came on board, I saw the girls, met with them. Some girls had no socks on. Some girls had shoes with holes in them. So when I get paid, I would buy them shoes, socks, anything they needed. The girls always used to come in the gym. I can't do this, I can't do that. And I had to motivate them. I have one arm. If I can do it with one arm, you can do it with two. We went 14 and 0 our first year. Right now, I cannot be with the kids because of the pandemic, but I have kids that need food. So I sent an Uber over with food for them. My first job is working at the school, and my second job is taking care of these kids. My name is Kayla Heron. Coach Johnson just always been supportive of the girls because I remember at times where I didn't have shoes to practice in or play in a game. And he literally took the team to go buy shoes and stuff like that. He still follows me to this day, even though I'm a, a college student, he calls and checked up on me. I would like to personally thank you coach for everything that you've done for me, supporting me through all my highs and my lows, believing in me when I didn't believe in myself. Just thank you for all your hard work and your dedication to us and I love you. This package just came, and it's from the Drew Barrymore show. For me, she didn't have to do this. Well, it is. Thank you, Kyle, for making a difference. Fancy flowers. A lovely sweatshirt. This is nice. I love it. And a gift card for my girls. They're going to love shopping at Walmart. Thank you, Drew. I really appreciate this. Thank you. My name is Casey and this is my mom Penny and we're ICU nurses at Vista Medical Center East in Waukegan, Illinois. It's been an honor and a privilege to be a nurse for 35 years because I was able to take care of our patients emotionally, physically, spiritually, and mentally. I wouldn't trade being a nurse for anything. Seeing my mom give care to people has been so rewarding and I wish to do the same for all my patients and their families. My second day was when the pandemic was announced and it really solidified why I wanted to be a nurse. Being able to work alongside my daughter means so much to me and I could really show her how to take care of the people or a patients who are very critically ill. And I'm so proud that she takes that opportunity to work alongside me. Working with my mom throughout the pandemic in the ICU has been an honor and I've been able to learn so much from her. Hi, I'm the daughter of Penny and sister of Casey. Mom, you've been working in the ICU for over 30 years and that's so incredible. And Casey, you were thrown right into it last year when you finished nursing school. Neither of you refused to take care of anyone who is positive and you risk your health to take care of other patients. I love you guys. Thank you for being true heroes during this pandemic. Drew just sent them some packages. Let's see what they got. Mom! <laughs> Drew sent us something! Oh my God. That is a surprise! <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, wow! Oh my God. What is this? Very nice! Oh. Oh, thanks, Drew. Thank you so much. Oh, that's your daughter. Whoa. Oh, mama. Those are pretty. Those are good. Yeah. Thanks, yes. Drew. Oh, thank my God, so I love much. it. What is that? Mama. Oh. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Oh, my <laughs> God. Thank you, Drew. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. My name is Mealy Cronin. I am 15 years old. I am a sophomore in high school from Northern Virginia. Pretty early on, I guess, I realized that the COVID-19 pandemic was going to be a nightmare. What with school closures, restrictions, shortages, people getting sick. Since I couldn't leave the house, I turned to GoFundMe. 
The donations to my page are the funds I use to buy meals for the local businesses I partner with. And they are then delivered to hospital personnel, grocery store workers, or police officers. Additionally, the proceeds provide funds for local businesses. So it's really just a two-stop effort. Over 900 meals have been delivered. And the hope is just to raise more money and provide even more meals and gift cards throughout the next few months. It's launched into a way that I never could have imagined. And for people who think that they don't have the time or that they can't contribute and that their voices won't be heard, they absolutely will. It's exactly what the world needs right now. Hey everybody, it's Mac, Mealy's brother. And we just received an awesome present from the Drew Barrymore Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, my name is Belinda Mason. I founded the organization Women on Wheels here in Dallas, Texas. We're a nonprofit organization. We work strictly offer donations. We have tried to help absolutely everybody. We did a cancer walk. We did a cancer run. Also, we took over six nursing homes. We gave them toiletries. We even took over two parking lots with two semi-trucks full of food during the pandemic for the people who were in need. During Christmas time, we adopted kids and we gave them coats, shoes, pants, shirts, and toys. Putting smiles on people's faces is breathtaking. It is overwhelming. When you can put one smile on a person's face, you feel like the joy never ends. Hello, I'm Sinclair. I'm Belinda's friend, and I just received the package from the Drew Barrymore show. Right down the, sitting at the door. Man, she's gonna be excited for this. Hey, baby. Hey. What, what you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, filming you. For what? You got something special today, baby. I don't know what, what is it is. This? Woo woo. It's a pretty yellow box. Who is that from? <laughs> Thanks for making a difference, Drew. Oh, I love flowers. Oh, Jesus. What is this? Woo! Oh, this is gonna help so much. Oh, we love you. Thank you from the Women's on Wheel here in Dallas, Texas. Drew Barrymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, we did it all! My name is Shonda Lemon. I've been a postal carrier for eight years now. I've been delivering on this route in particular for four years. That's how I met Helen. After she took a fall last year, I began wrapping rubber bands around her mail so that she can grip it more easily. But I noticed that she hadn't picked up her mail for three days, which is unusual. I called 911 and they found her on the floor. She had been laying there for three days and they were able to save her life. It's overwhelming and I'm just happy that I, it wasn't any worse situation. She's alive and well, and soon enough I'll be able to speak to her myself and talk to her like I normally do. Shonda, you are our angel. We just can't thank you enough. You mean everything to us. God bless Shonda for having discovered me and realized that there was something wrong, that I was not picking up the mail. Not many people would care that much, but she certainly did. And I have to thank her with all my heart for the life that I am still living. Hey, I'm Shamari. My mom just received a surprise gift from Drew Barrymore, and she's on her way home, and she's gonna see the surprise box sitting outside. I can't wait to see this. 
Oh, this is so cute. This is nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> this was a very kind gesture. Thank you so much, Drew. And I wish you all of the great blessings upon you for even thinking of me. Thank you so much. I'd say they were more than a Drew Gooder. That was a Drew Greater.